So I'm Tony Wanick. I'm a sports medicine surgeon at the Hospital for Special Surgery, and I'm going to demonstrate my technique for uh, bow brace augmentation of a rotator cuff repair. And here you can really see this uh, rotator cuff tear, the supraspinous insertion, and then if we peek underneath this veil, we can see the uh, articular surface, right? So we're, we're right here at the articular margin here. So once we have a position I like, um, you can go ahead and mount that for us. We'll bring it down to this central portion about midway here. And then once we have it loaded, we'll just pull it straight back. And we're past this three hour lateral row here. Okay, so now I'm going to go past my sutures anteriorly first. Full thing the spine of the rotator cuff here. I'm looking at the anterior cable. And once I'm happy with my position, I'm going to just fire this. I'm looking at the anterior cable. Fire this. Once again, you can see the self-capturing nature there. I'm going to pull straight back out. Going posterior to our last pass here. Once we're happy, we'll go ahead and fire that. Once again, we're going posteriorly to our previous pass here. Fire that out. Now we've got our various sutures passed. Now we're going to begin bringing them out for our, our lateral row. So I'm going to take a tape from the anterior pass of each of my anchors. So this is the anterior pass of my posterior anchor. And then going to the anterior pass of my anterior anchor here. Once again, I'm grabbing the tape here um, to bring out for my lateral row. Great. Okay. So I've got these two tapes that uh, I'm going to bring out for a lateral row anchor. But before I do that, because of the poor quality of the tissue, I'm going to augment this repair using a bile brace. And I'll show you how we prepare that. We're preparing our bile brace strand for cuff augmentation here. We have a 5x250 bile brace, which is a uh, collagen uh, reinforced with PLLA. And we're going to prepare this once again for augmentation of our rotator cuff repair. The one thing to note is the, the ends of the bow brace are tapered in order to be able to pass and prepare our bow brace. Typically, when I'm doing a cuff augmentation with the bow brace strand, I'll usually prepare 25 millimeter segments. So we'll measure out the appropriate segment length. You can mark it with a ruler here. And just to make things easier, you can prepare multiple segments at the same time. So if you see uh, here, I've, I've prepared this bow brace and marked out 25 millimeter segments. And we're going to go ahead and cut them at the indicated marks. Good. All right, so we have our um, four 25 millimeter uh, bow brace strands here, and uh, now we're going to use a suture loop with a Keith needle to pass our uh, strands. Passing these through the loop is making sure you go through the center of the bow brace, right? And you really want to make sure you can feel this needle passing easily through, right? So as I'm penetrating the strand. I'm really trying to go right in the middle and I feel no resistance at all. Um, so I'm going in line with the, the fibers here. And once again, I'm really taking care to come out through the, the middle uh, of that bow brace. So we can actually go ahead and 
pass all four strands at once so that we're ready for our augmentation. Right? And so I'm carefully making sure that I'm going through the middle. All right, so we've got this suture loop loaded with these four bow brace segments. Uh, once again, each one measuring five by 25 millimeters in length. And now we're ready to load these onto our lateral row sutures. Okay, so we've got this, um, these bow brace segments once again loaded on this suture loop. We're gonna slide this lateral row suture here first. And I'm going to load this with our first bob brace segment. So we'll slide this up here. Good, you can let go of that. And now we have our first bob brace segment loaded on our wire row suture. I'll give you that one. And now we're going to load our second suture here. passing our repair stitch through the middle of this loop and just sliding the segment right over that repair stitch. Good, you can let go there. Now once again, th this is where it's really important to make sure that this was loaded through the middle and, and once it's loaded through the middle I can feel it slide nice and easy up and down, right? So if you're off center you may get some resistance with, with loading and shuttling these segments, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to shuttle one segment at a time. Um, I like to use a knot pusher to, to shuttle these into the joint. You can also use a grasper to, to push the construct if you feel more comfortable. But it, usually I find it nice and easy to, to shuttle these through. You can see here I've got my knot pusher I'm seating this bow brace segment into the subchromial space. If you can see, it's a little bit bunched up, which I don't mind at all. Um, I actually like having it a little bit bunched up because as I place my lateral row anchor, that will open up and, and lay nice and flat. Okay, so that's not, not worrisome at all. Besides the knot pushers, you could use a grasper to grab that bob brace segment. And depending on the canyon you're using, help push that in. Two bob brace strands seated over our cuff. And now we're gonna get ready to do our lower row repair here, okay? So here we're gonna um, abduct our arm a bit. Perfect, thank you. And once again, you can see as you abduct it, these bob brace segments are starting to open up a bit. And we're gonna lay it over nicely once we put these lateral row anchors in. Okay, so we're gonna punch for our lateral row anchor here. We're going down to that first laser line there. And we're gonna load our lateral row anchor. So this is a Genesis anchor, uh, which is a uh, ball composite. Slide this down into the cannula. So have it seated in our hole. Tap. And once I'm happy with my tension, we'll cleat it here. And then go ahead and now set my anchor. Perfect. Yeah. And these come off here. Good. Excellent. All right. So now we have our first lateral row anchor in. Once again, you can see our bob brace augmentation here. Once again, you can see it's, it's a little bit bunched up, but you can sort of flatten it out if you like. 
like the extra coverage here that it gives. One's gonna, what I like is it's covering the entire footprint of that rotator cuff, right? So it's going across the both medial and lower row anchors here. So that looks great. But once again, we have 25 millimeters. Gives me good reliable coverage across most cuff sizes. We're gonna grab our remaining lower row sutures here. So now we've got our bow brace strands really laying over the top of our rotator cuff. So once again, these strands really um, slide up and down easily. So if you wanna adjust the position slightly, you can. And then you can see with a, a 25 millimeter strand, you get really good coverage of that entire rotator cuff footprint. You know, we still have some medial row sutures here, which I would then um, tie arthroscopically to create some additional medial row fixation. But you can really see where we've got this nice coverage here, and, and you can see these strands have actually flattened over time as we've manipulated and moved the arm, right? So as we talked about before, even if it bunches up a little bit, these tend to want to flatten out and, and really provide nice coverage here. And you can really arrange these in whatever pattern you want. See the bow brace strands here laying over the cuff. Yeah, once again, we get great coverage whole footprint and laying nicely. And we got room to do, um, once again, tie those medial row sutures for some additional fixation. We've got our lower row sutures uh, anchored um, along with the bow brace strands covering our lower row repair stitches.